What's going on guys? I came inside of here back with a brand new video. This is McDonald's Monopoly episode three. So I got McDonald's breakfast, two pieces for each hash brown. Each hash brown's a dollar. It's a pretty good deal. You get two more pieces somewhere on this mess. Apparently, no, there's, no, that's unfair. I thought there was pieces on every McMuffin, but I guess not. But good thing I got extra pieces for this. I got a steak, egg, and cheese McMuffin. The thing I like about McMuffins is the egg on it is actually like real egg. Like this one, you actually have to crack open from the egg and then put it on the frying pan. The other one, you just put it inside the microwave. Well, that's what we do at our store. Uh, someone comments in is like, oh, you don't microwave it, but at our store, we do microwave it. I know I'm drinking dangerous tonight with this toxic iced tea. Nice beautiful juicy sandwich looks really greasy so obviously from my pile of pieces you could tell that I go to McDonald's at least a few times a day I'm just kidding at least a few times a week I think I have like 50 pieces now all right so we're gonna peel off the pieces from the drink first which are usually wet and we got Illinois Avenue I think that's like the fourth Illinois Avenue I've gotten I usually only get these for the, the food prizes. Because I think the food prizes are actually like, oh, I'm gonna buy something and I'm gonna get a coupon for another thing free. I'm not gonna win $100 randomly. Another St. Charles place. I have like five of these. The tea doesn't taste that bad today. It's just, it's not that sweet. When you make iced tea, you're supposed to put two cups of hot water, which are like big cups. Then you're supposed to put a whole bag of sugar. Then you pour it in and then you stir it until it dissolves. After it dissolves, then you put in the new tea bag, click the button, and then while it's going, you gotta turn it. So it all mixes together. And then after that, you fill it with ice, then you put the top on, you put a sticker on it, then you put it in the fridge. And if you don't do that, you're gonna make terrible ass tea. Another North Carolina Avenue. Another park place, like my seventh one. I love hash browns. I'm still upset that there's no pieces on this McMuffin. So guys, I just wanted to give some props to my GM. If you know who that is, that's the general manager. He pretty much runs the store. He gives you your hours. He, he's in charge of everything. He was there in breakfast working all by himself. There was one guy in the window and one lady on grill and one lady on the table. And he was all by himself taking orders, doing everything by himself. And he was running back and forth. And then someone in the lobby was being a dick and they are like, oh, th there's no more napkins. I'm like, really lady, chill the fuck out. You're gonna be getting napkins soon. So I'm like, hey, said his name and I'm like, hey, can you give me some napkins or go stock up for you? So he gave me a stack and then I go stock up the lobby. He was really thankful for that. But you gotta help out a fellow McDonald's employee when they're running by themselves. Sometimes it's so stressful to run by yourself. You're like focusing on what the thing is. They're like, oh, there's like three small coffees, but one has no sugar, one has no cream. Then boom, there's another one with five creams and five sugars. You get the, like the biggest headache. And then there's people yelling at you, asking you for napkins in the lobby. You gotta help out your McDonald's employees. Just step up and help them. I know you gotta check your phone because your boyfriend's like, hey, I miss you, but you gotta work first. You gotta work for that money. We got some hash brown for the dude. Pound it. Shake. There you go. I love you. Pound it for the road, dude! Woo! It's his first co-host, man. <laughs> Peace. Leave a comment down below of your favorite item on the McDonald's menu. And give me a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I came inside her out. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.